Hello everyone and welcome back to Dearsley. I have spent some time developing the goods operation side of my layout and you might be forgiven for thinking that I am not interested in the passengers. I did make a platform announcement video with my granddaughter's help but that was over two years ago. So it's about time I redressed the balance. I have amassed a stock of coaches and I have worked out a scheduled timetable to run alongside my goods operation. But I am not ready for that video just yet. Two things have concerned me about running model passenger service. The first is the massive overscale gap between the coaches and the second is I want to fit effective coach lighting that is not going to break the bank. The breakthrough moment came this weekend with a visit to the East Anglian Model Railway Show at Woodgreen Animal Shelter in Cambridgeshire. On the friendly Layouts for You stand I was introduced to their new solution for carriage lighting. The key feature of which is a clever device called a latching reed switch. It can be operated by a magnet from outside the carriage. Much of my newest coaching stock is from the Hornby Railroad range. I like them but the wheels are made from a hard non-conductive plastic so picking up power from the track is not an option. These lighting units run from their own 3 volt batteries through a lighting strip and it is activated via the latching reed switch fitted under the roof. Or you can fit them under the chassis if you wish and activate them automatically using magnets built into the track. I already use track magnets for uncoupling so I am going for the under roof option. The Hornby Railroad bodies are secured on the chassis by six clips. They are a bit fiddly to release so take care. Not all coaches are held together like this, so you will have to check yours against your manufacturer's instructions. Old credit cards certainly help stop the body accidentally snapping back in place. Before you separate everything, Mark the ends of each piece so you can later reassemble them the right way round. Once the chassis is removed the seats can follow and they are just held in place by the body. There is no need to remove the window glazing. Now to assemble the lighting units I follow the very full instructions. The class 1 coaches will take the full strip of lights, although the strip can be cut shorter if needed. The strips are marked plus and minus, so solder the red wire to the positive and black to the negative. It will save confusion later. Tin the copper tabs at the end of the strip. Then strip the ends and tin the red and black wires. Then solder it into place.
decide where you wish to position the switch. I opted to keep it central in the coach. Cut the red or black wire and solder it back together with the reed switch in between. The battery will be hidden at one end of the coach, so allow enough wire for this and cut both wires to length. Lastly, solder the black wire to the middle pin on the battery holder and the red wire to either of the other two pins. And that's it. Now you can peel off the backing and carefully centre the strip on the underside of the coach roof and gently press it in place. A quick test to check all is OK. To prevent unsightly wires being visible through the windows, I cut small strips of electrical tape and stuck the wires down close to the roof. I know from experience that it is not good to rely on this permanently. So mix some fast drying epoxy glue and apply blobs along the wires to hold them tightly in place. When this is dry you can remove the electrical tape. With these corridor coaches the compartment divisions fit close to the roof. I left the last ones on each end intact but cut away the tops of the arches to clear the lighting. Make sure the seating unit fits snugly back in place before reassembling the coach. And that's it, a simple and cost-effective way of fitting coach lighting. In my next video I will deal with closing the gap between coaches to make them look more realistic. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and feel free to comment.